What's happening, everybody? Michael tries to get Grandpa Martin to take his prescription medications here! Grandpa, you've got to take your pill. No, I hate it. Grandpa. Fuck you. Grandpa. I said no. What's this for anyway? Dick pills. You've got a prescription for dick pills? Grandpa, you were sponsored by Viagra for Christ's sake. Don't you have some free samples? They ain't for that. What do you mean? I've got a fucking anaconda between my thighs. Those pills make it smaller. Why would you want that? So I can fucking walk. Oh. The senior ladies love my third leg. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Roots, and welcome back to NASCAR 2013 Career Mode! I think for the first time in weeks, I don't have a frog living in my throat. I shot the bastard and I ate his legs for dinner last night. Last week, we ran the Pocono Okono with the Moobs Motorsport number 80, getting our first career pole in this series. Moobs Motorsport is getting quick, y'all. We weren't able to take home the victory, however, because we got driven over about 30 fucking times. Coincidentally, that's just as many laps as we ran at Pocono. Every fucking lap I was getting run over. We did end up taking home a fifth place finish though. A top five, still a solid run. That run elevates us in the shits to third in points. Now only 26 points off of the points leader with Redneck Jesus. It's kind of weird when you look at these points and how many top tens people have. It's kind of like the next gen car here in 2022. No consistency really. I only have six top tens. And it's after 14 races. Well, she's only got seven top tens. Redneck Jesus, okay, he's got more than 50%, but still six races where he hasn't been that good. And you scroll the hell through everybody else. I mean, we got a couple of guys with three top tens in the top ten in points. And that explains why things are so stupid close through here. Jamai not having very many good, good runs lately, and that's left him outside the top ten in points. He now has wild card number one with his two wins. And wild card number two goes to Tony the Tiger. Kansas finds himself in the top 20 with a win, which is good. But if he wants to use it for that second wild card, um, he's going to have to find a way to track down Tony the Tiger. Holy yikes. These guys all have a win, and that's their only top 10 on the season. That's actually quite remarkable. It's even more remarkable that they've all found each other in a row, 34th, 35th, and 36th. Maybe we're lining up for a run. Stone Cowboy victory today at Michigan. Last week, we finally brought Aaron's on the car. They replaced someone. Mechanics wear. We now no longer have any sort of gloves for our pit crew. They're just going to have to go gloveless. I mean, I had to chase the money. Aaron's is paying out five times what Mechanics wear was. And here are the rest of our current sponsors. We've got a few more that are interested but have it side yet. Upgrades, we have a solid engine installed, level four. I don't think we really need to focus on the level five until we just save up those credits. Chassis, I'm not worried about the chassis. Brakes, not worried. Transmission, however, I am worried. We could not get a single solid restart at Pocono. So this is what I want next. A level three, maybe level four. Maybe we'll just save up, wait to get the money to get the level four transmission. We're not that far off if we continue to have good, good runs. So now, Michigan. It was a son of a bitch in our 2013 season mode. It is not easy to compete with the AI at this track. About all we have going for us is a good, good engine. Our transmission sucks. We should have enough handling to just manage. I'm really not sure what this race is gonna hold today. Let's get it started though and find the fuck out. Let's go to the master and let's go. I am fairly certain they had the AI qualifying on the paved Michigan, recently paved. And I'm pretty sure they had me qualifying on the old crusty pavement. This is gonna suck today. We're on our way to Michigan. It's either I have an absolutely horrendous car and all the upgrades that we've made this season have been stripped out of it for this one week only, or I'm racing on old pavement and they're all racing on new. That's the only explanations I can come up with for whatever the, oh, oh, like the, wow, two for one special. For whatever the reason, this is just a stupid, difficult track to get a grip on when racing the AI in this, in inside line, I don't understand it. Whoa, they're wrecking. Three wide, two high. 
I'm wrecking! What was that? Where the hell is the... I probably should have given them some more room. This all started because Stromboli, for the second week in a row, was on the lead, and that completely deviated my concentration. So we got eight laps of fuel. We can go 10 laps. We can break this up into some segments here. It doesn't serve a purpose. Pin it right now. I'm just still trying to understand what in the world was going on with the 30. Someone must have got into him, sent him up the track, booped him up there, and he was... He somehow saved that car. It wasn't really a bad first couple laps. I was passing some people. I wasn't getting my doors blown off. We might have a car that we could contend with. We'll definitely be able to contend if people continue to get into each other. And if I can, you know, continue to hit people, knock them up the track and just take the spots that way. Let's watch. They're all up on top of each other. Is They're getting into it again a little bit. There was some contact on the outside. I think McDouche might have grabbed himself some wall. Would it happen to a bigger fucking idiot? Sorry, Waffle. IHOP is going to want to know why their waffles are dented. I'm watching. They Keep running up the track like this and turn. Oof, uh, Ooga, Booga, I took a lot of damage. That right front took a heavy lick. You're gonna be back at 36th place after today. Didn't really feel the damage too much going through the corner, but I'm sure as the tires continue to wear, I'll feel it more and more. Every time we're going through turn two, these guys are just acting like the other guys don't exist and just drifting up the track into them. Not entirely sure what the hell is happening to my right rear, but that shit is scorched. That's gonna fucking hurt a lot. He went uh, head on into this goddamn wall. Compliments of me. Sorry I didn't have time to wrap it. I was gonna put a bow on the shit. Um, I think it might be time to pit because that right rear is not gonna last much longer. Everybody's coming in. Robbie Ryan, God bless ya. On what planet does this 07 bitch think he's gonna hold off all the rest of us fresh tires? Literally the whole field has full of fuel. We are all gonna steamroll your ass. The one friggin' guy, like the entire Field, the entire field pits and they think they're smarter than the rest of us i think he's holding up shit a lot look at this field right now four five wide there's gonna be a big one and if i had to guess i'll probably be the dumb bastard that causes it look at me down on the apron what the hell's the matter with me uh oh uh oh I told you it was fucking coming! I told you! I'm gonna spend the rest of this race watching where Robbie Rotten ends up. What the f You've gotta be f That was so fucking unnecessary. That was like opening a surfboard shop in the middle of Iowa. Why did we wreck there? Why couldn't you just give me wrong? Somehow I ended up damaging my left front wheel. Block blister! It's not like you're going to the lead. Couldn't you have just taken your time trying to pass me, get around me in a safer manner? That's when NASCAR went to shit, when the drivers stopped caring about each other's safety. I pit it there. I don't really think it was necessary aside from fixing the damage. We're still going to have to pit one more time. And look who the hell I have to restart next to. Block blister. Actually, never mind, because I don't have a transmission worth a damn. Love how it says last place up there. Like, they couldn't just leave it blank. They had to make me feel like shit about myself. I feel like I have a car better than the 40s, so I'm not even gonna bother with that goddamn 35 car. I'm just gonna leave him back where the hell he belongs, and I'm gonna go to the top. We four wide and shit. This is probably not gonna last. Go down here. Oh, I'm able to actually slow down enough and keep it around the bottom this time. Robbie Ryan, how's that strategy working out? I'm not even sure he's made a pit stop this entire race. We just ran our fastest lap of the race. I'm still about a half a second off of the fastest, fastest lap, but I'm going somewhere. The car feels all right. If we can at least muster up a top 20 finish before the end of the day, I think I'll be good with it. God damn, I'm only a few tenths off the fastest lap now. We might have a car that can contend. They are all on top of each other. I'm waiting for this to go completely wrong. This just looks like a fucking mess. I'm 
going to keep it around the bottom and try to avoid it at all costs. Remember what I said about this 33. Remember, he ain't that far off from the front. Oh, slow bitches. Oh, shit. We got a lot of pit stops happening. I am uh, definitely out front of all the people that I pitted with. We have another five laps. We can make it till we have to make our final stop. These guys, though, that are pitting right now, I'm not so sure they can make it to the end. Like, we could only do 10 laps, and they're all pitting before we've hit 10 to go. And I just ran a lap damn close to the fastest lap turn to the race. Moves Motorsport, looking for another dot. And here it is, fastest lap of the day. I'm gonna stay out as long as I can with this fuel, just to make sure that we can make it to the end. I don't wanna stop too early. We will, or should, lose the lead because of that, because all the guys that came in, they're going to resume their leadership but i don't think any of them can make it to the end i think they're all gonna have to stop once more we might be one of the few that can actually stretch it oh my god oh my Watch the wall, buddy. got a little bit wiggly oh god i gotta come in but we still have eight to go and i'm not too fast man check up check up totally sure if we can make it eight laps was i speeding there am i gonna get some fucking penalty now whoa 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 what the hell kind of pit exit was that okay i'm gonna have some stupid ass lead i've got seven people that are ahead of me but they're all on pit road as we speak how did I make up that much time? I am very much interested to see how many laps of fuel it's gonna say we have. Once uh, my fuel gauge go. starts its calculations, we're back to the lead somehow. I think they take so long getting down on the pit road. They slow up so much to make pit road speed. And obviously I'm just cutting that shit as close as I possibly can. Somehow didn't get a penalty. And I make up a ton of time there. I make up a ton of time when I'm just out here running my laps by myself out in clean air. And now I got a two and a half second lead and I've got seven laps of fuel in the tank, just enough to make it to the end. So as long as I don't loot my shit and as long as there's not a yellow, Moves Motorsport will be a winner again. Five laps and the booth is gaining. He is getting ever so closer to me. He charged it now, does he have to stop again? I have absolutely no way of fucking knowing, but he is getting closer to me. The booth is on it, man. Oh my God, we were at a second and a half, down to eight tenths. He's coming, he's gonna be here. Tell you what, bitch, getting to me is one thing. But, oh, you see how I race. Get around me. That'll be a completely different story. Oh, well, there goes that good, good battle we could have had. He is in the Ready pitch. The booth is out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Way to ride out of that one. Way to ride out of that one. I think it's the motherfucking oh, one. You got to be shitting me. I'm just getting into the gas of the goddamn thing. Okay, all my competition is just deciding to say, I'm, I'm not interested in winning today. Motherfucker, man, I was just cruising through this corner and all of a sudden it just started breaking sideways. I was up here because I'm having a hard time getting around the bottom. Thankfully that lap, it didn't happen. Now we got Bushy on us. I don't know, this shit is tight. I don't know if it's because he's pitting fucking too. Oh my God. Or you shit, man! Flag, Get the fuck back up here! I am sending this so fucking deep. I am not getting beat by a hamster, by a little fucking furry ass rodent. The thing is just the handling. I think because of the damage that I took when I went for that big old slide. I am looking for this motherfucking win. Pit. 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 Unbelievable. I had this shit. Look at my right rear. Look at how burnt up it is. I had that shit on lockdown, motherfuckers. I don't really know, honest to God, what happened there. I was cruising on Easy Street. I got loose. I got into the wall. The car got much tighter after that. That pushed me up into the wall again. I then 
cranked it off of the wall there, coming to the white flag, got very wiggly, hamster got to the outside of me, and that was all she fucking wrote. I mean, we made some good, good fucking money, but it could have been that much more good, good. Hamster, you're welcome. You're fucking welcome for that victory that I, I, I honest to God, don't know how I was able to piss that away so so badly. That easily should have been another win for Moobs Motorsport, but it wasn't. That honestly felt a little bit like that 2009 Michigan race where we had three different leaders in like the last lap, except this time it was just one stupid leader that decided to stuff it in the fence and allowed a hamster to fucking win. Redneck Jesus, your points leader, I finished 17 seconds ahead of. So, that probably means we gained a lot of points. Remember when you wouldn't give me any room on the front straightaway and we all wrecked I don't really have much else to say about it, but, you know, I just, I thought I'd bring it up. Damn, that strategy call to never make a single pit stop really paid off. When I saw this bitch slide across the track like that and basically all butt wrecking, I thought we were in for a whole shit ton more of that today. We saw a lot of beating and banging, but never the... Wreck it. What is it about wrecked race cars that makes us all so intrigued? This fucking bitch writes the jokes for me. Oh, well, our second place nets us second place. We are now only 13 points off of Redneck Jesus's back bumper. Good Moves Motorsport lead the point standings in their first season. It's looking good right now. Jimmy, congratulations. You weren't inept for once. Woo! This is getting interesting, folks. Now that Jimmy has been put back back into the top 10 at points, Tony the Tiger takes wild card number one, and Ken Death takes wild card number two. And they got a pretty hefty margin over 21st. 332 for Kmart, 365, over 30 points now. For kids if on the cut. Holy cock balls. I didn't realize Hamster was that far down in points. He's got to win now and puts his name sort of kind of in the conversation if he could start to get some good, good runs together. And, well, you've got these guys. They moved a little bit. He moved too, but in the wrong direction. Interesting. So we just signed A.A. Rons. And now we're getting an offer from the Bisco. Well, AA Rons didn't want anything to do with me for quite a while. Actually, wait a minute, I can move. Okay, we'll leave them on the car. I can actually get rid of some of these other older ones that aren't paying as much. Okay, we're gonna get rid of, uh, let's do k and because that's the least amount. We accept the Bisco, give me your cookies. Well, shit, we also have an offer from Comp Cam. So I guess Jegs, you're out as well. Thank you for the monies. All right, where the hell are the... I guess they're just replacing... Yeah, we just replaced a couple of the ones we had on the side. Comp cams. This is at Nabisco. This is so fucking dumb. They're so spread out. They're all over the place. Why do we not just put all of these stickers together? We got Menards up there, Featherlight up there. Then we got comp cams, AA Rons down there. Then we got Five Hour Energy, Dollar General in the middle. What the fuck is going on? All I really want to see is a new primary sponsor because I think I'm kind of over this one. Well, 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 we have the balance necessary to buy level three transmission, but we are not that far off from the 950 required for level four. So I'm gonna hold off and hopefully it's Sonomi's we're able to get this one after the race. Yes, Sonomi's is up next. And then the week after that, we got this golden invitational event. I don't want to check it out. I want to be surprised and find out what the hell it is when the time comes. But that'll be next week. I'm done for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like on the bastard. I love every single last one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye!